What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Patty Parade. And today, we're wearing our glasses so we get taken a little bit more seriously. Just going for that nice, reputable look. We even got the button up on. You know what I mean? I mean, it's still open a little bit at the top. Casual. Yeah, gotta keep it casual. <laughs> also, so that we can do the dramatic eyeglass reveal when we need to. You know what the deal is. All right, y'all. So we're here today to talk about the Blade Masterclass. Uh, we've got one up to 45. This, uh, y'all might be thinking, oh my God, he re-rolled his main. Nope, 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 nope. This is Ghost Boy 2, the ghostening. All right. So uh, we've re-rolled our boy. Well, we did not re-roll our boy here. I'm tripping over myself now. Let's go ahead and take a real cl close look at the Blade Master stats. All right. So, uh... Might notice it looks a little empty up in this place. We've only got two M's on this whole board, which should make things pretty simple for us. So we need physical attack and AP, which if you look at it, it says attacks partially ignore uh, target defense. I don't know if AP is supposed to tighten for attacks partially or if they're going for armor penetration. Uh, we're just going to call it armor penetration and say it's your best friend because, well, I mean, it's... It's your second best friend. Prime, uh, physical attack is going to be your uh, number one boo. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look. So real quick, uh, by the time you hit about 35, 40, you've gotten enough free diamonds from the game throwing stuff at you that every player should be able to do this. We've got level five. Oop, nope, we still got one level three right here. But we've got our core mostly filled out. Um, so let's take a take a quick look. Uh, actually, we need to bounce back to this screen because this game's tricky. Um, so we're looking for constitution, strength, and this stands for insight um, for melee uh, attackers and everything. It's inspiration for casters. Um, <clears throat> oops. So obviously, looking at this, uh, we want strength as much as we can. And then inspiration as much as we can because we get four AP from that, uh, which is more than from anything else. I personally am going for a more damage build, and I do recommend earlier players do that as once you get later in the game, um, <clears throat> it'll be easier for you to kind of get these resources. But early on, building your Blade Master for damage is going to get you through everything faster, it's going to make you a lot more aggressive in PvP. Um, and there's a lot of built-in survivability to uh, Blade Masters themselves, so they already do exceptionally well on the survival bit um, in player versus player combat. So you kind of already have that, and putting a whole bunch into Constitution early feels like um, a bit of a waste. So I'm definitely uh, going for damage as much as I can. I wish it would tell you exactly how much you know um, armor penetration that you're getting from this, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers. Choosers. So we've done our best to uh, get a decent little bit. Uh, once we get that last gem replaced, which oh oh we can do it. We can do it. Hold up, hold up. I got some diamonds without realizing it. So quick guide. Uh, you want to go to the mall and then go to the store. Go click on little gems of destiny down here, and it's a fire gem I need to replace. Cheapest price you'll get these for is 48 crystals. We're gonna go ahead and purchase one of these bad boys right now. All right, we're gonna go back over to Mia and take out Mia and replace it with Mia. Look at that, a nice 240 bonus. So if we take a look at this now, we've gotten that level five bonus where we're getting some uh, stats all across the board. And uh, next rank will give us just a little bit more, just a little bit more of a push in each direction. Uh, this will be a little bit harder for uh, free-to-play players to hit. Um, if you're willing to spend a little bit of money, get the investment uh, pack, and by the time you hit 60, uh, you'll have the ability to get all of your gems to plus seven if you're using your diamonds for that. Um, I used my diamonds and uh, my coupons pretty stupidly on my main initially. Um, so my biggest thing is just save all your diamonds that you can uh, Use them pretty exclusively for your core no matter who you are Because uh, the more your core advanced uh, the more you're gonna see on your character it above a lot of the other little systems That there are in the game will give you the most uh, benefit. So definitely pay attention to that All right, so let's go ahead and real quick get into these skills This is one of the best trees in the game just because there's so much going on here and you have so much room to play 
Um, I, I, I'm really, really just impressed, and I love this class so much. <clears throat> it is very, very, very fun and rewarding, in my opinion. So, this is your, you know, first attack on your bar. It's going to be in the bottom left hand side. Uh, Skur Slay changes, uh, charges at target, dealing physical damage to target and up to five surrounding enemies. Targets explode if Cherry Blossom is present, causing up to three enemy units to sustain damage um, and reduce movement speed trigger while triggering uh, Ephemeral Beauty. Uh, ephemeral Beauty, excuse me. <laughs> and that's basically just a wide slash. So real quick, let's talk about Cherry Blossoms. So you get cherry blossoms on a target from using your second skill blossom dance so whether or not you're opening with your third or fourth attack you should always be using your a2 before your a1 Sakura slay <clears throat> um, this will also come off cooldown a little bit before this will and if this buff still isn't on the target don't use Sakura slay hold on to it for a second wait for this to come back up um, we're going to go into training after we kind of talk about all the skills, and I'll show a little bit of gameplay and how you want to be um, using your cooldowns effectively. Um, so just a little bit of a quick tip for that. So that's real nice. Puts a movement slowing on them and just does some extra damage, which is always beautiful. Um, so right now I've got this move, Flash, uh, down here selected. <clears throat> um, this charges at a target, deals physical damage to a target. Uh, and up to five nearby enemies inflicting delay so delay is essentially like a two second stun um, when delay is triggered uh, counter wave is usable and this lifts the target up throws them behind you uh, and is basically again just another little bit of a counter and stun because while this is happening they obviously can't do anything if you know it's you and several people attacking a person uh, this is all just dead time for them so this is he, Blade Master has a super aggressive kit for PvP. It's really unfair to everyone that's not playing a Blade Master. Can they just get their own PvP section, please? I don't want to get beat up no more. I'm sorry, Daddy. Um, so Moongazer is what you start off uh, the game with once you get your A3. It's a quick flick that deals physical damage up to five enemies in a small area, inflicts aerial. Uh, and can trigger Wayne if Ariel is triggered. So if you get him up in the air, because uh, there's a couple of units that this won't work on, um, <clears throat> but once you get him up in the air, you're able to use Wayne. Deals physical damage up to five enemies in front if enemy is already Ariel. Reset Ariel time. Uh, but basically just knocks him up uh, some more. Damage dealt increases with Moongazer level and uh, greatly increased dodge when using this. So that's a nice little benefit. Um, <clears throat> Void is essentially a buff. Uh, gain increased dodge, move speed, physical defense, and magic defense, and gain super armor uh, for 20 seconds. You also counterattack whenever an attack from an enemy um, within that f uh, area. Uh, basically, within that, whenever they're close enough and they attack you, uh, you'll always counter them. Um, <clears throat> and this... Um, I'll typically save and then use as I'm going into uh, my other form. So this is uh, your ability that you use to switch to using your other sword. Uh, deal physical damage up to five enemies in a straight line and switch to Adachi form. Attacks also inflict burn. Um, so if you go through and look at these other ones, they have slight changes and they do a different type of element damage. Um, and then have some other little effects that they might apply that change. <laughs> Um, so this one, you know, puts burn on the target. Uh, yeah, this one's freeze and then shock. I was trying to see if they described what shock or freeze or any of those do, but not particularly. Um, <clears throat> this mode, however, uh, so when you're in your other form and switching back to your one-handed sword, um, these actually have a bit of a difference and they don't change like your element so to speak um, you're the one you start off with uh, you know does some physical damage and everything nothing super fancy uh, this one will reduce damage for anyone that's nearby <clears throat> oh the, the first one knocks him up in the air it doesn't have a lasting effect where this one uh, reduces allied damage um, that are around the sword and this one increases people's damage that they do um, while they're near this area effect that the uh, form causes 
So just a quick tip on those. Uh, this is going to be your base attack when you're in your heavy sword form. Um, a two-stage whirling cleave that knocks uh, that knocks back up up to five enemies in front, dealing physical damage and inflicting del delay. Again, this is another move that stuns very gross in PvP. Ha like half to three quarters of their moves have either stun or an effect that negates the other player's ability to control. So, so much CC on this class that it's a little insane. Um, Azure Moon is Sleeping Slash that deals physical damage up to five enemies, knocking them back and can trigger uh, directional slash on hit. Uh, charge at the target, dealing uh, physical damage to the target and up to five nearby enemies. Damage dealt increases with Azure Moon level. <coughs> Current uh, Dachi element will inflict additional burn, freeze, or chance to shock. So depending on which of these three that you are using, um, will depend on what effect chance that has a, a chance to put on. So this is a cool little bl uh, barrier move that keeps uh, reduces a whole bunch of damage and then as soon as somebody hits it, um, it triggers another attack that you're able to do that does a pretty massive amount of damage. Uh, base one is uh, Moon Shatter um, and then the second one is Landslide. So they're, they're both pretty nice. This one knocks uh, targets up in aerial, um, and this one reduces their physical attack um, and also stuns them for a moment. So both of these are, uh, are pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, again, fourth skill is gonna be a buff, so go berserk, greatly increased physical attack and damage dealt, but also increased damage taken for 15 seconds. If fatal attack is taken while in berserk, trigger uh, Naraka, we're just gonna say, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, uh, temporarily resurrecting for 10 seconds on a 45 second cooldown. Cooldown on the uh, resurrection is 120 seconds itself. <clears throat> So I will usually wait to pop this. Um, sometimes if you let the AI do its thing as soon as it goes over into this form, um, it might pop this. If you're at full health, there's not a whole lot of benefit there unless it's the very, very beginning of the fight um, and you're trying to establish a upper hand. Uh, then I would recommend using this because by the time uh, you get down to low health, it may be up again. Um, and the, the 120 second cooldown is when this actually takes effect. So if you use this and then you don't get that effect, um, after the 45 seconds you'll have the skill back. So most fights will you know, take a minute, minute and a half, two minutes to lose if it's you know, a 1v1 that's pretty fair. Um, if you're getting ganged up on, you know, obviously wait to pop this until, uh, until you're about to die and then be running like hell to begin with, so hopefully this will give you more running time and <laughs> you can escape before you're destroyed. Alright, so that covers uh, all the skills pretty good. Um, I haven't unlocked this second talent yet. I'm actually trying to push through all the story stuff until I hit the wall of I must be this level to go up in the story um, to go through and do all these other side quests uh, because even after you hit your cap for the day, doing this stuff up in this corner um, if it's one of the things like the ace uh, quest and everything will still give you experience so I'm kinda hoarding those and saving it for once I hit the uh, the level wall but let's go ahead and uh, pop into train real quick and we'll take a look at some of this okay 13 minutes that's not too bad boy them paragraphs on them skills I just like <sighs> feels like I ran a quarter of a marathon a little bit so, oop, and one thing that I forgot to turn back on, uno momento. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Just gotta import my config real quick. Here we go. Here we go. Your boy's happy now. Save that. Close that out. Let's get all full screen again. All right. Let's turn off auto for a second and let some of these cooldowns come back. Um, so I, uh, oop. can we, uh, can we zoom out a little bit here, bud? That is a little distracting. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna just leave real quick and then come back into this and, uh, everything should be fine. Do, 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 do. It's the old off and on again. Just leave, come back. It'll be fine. It'll be Okay. Sorry for giving you a heart attack game. I didn't mean to. That's still super, super close feeling. 
Da, 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 da. No way to bounce that back. Cool. So we're just really, really close for some reason. That's very comfortable. I enjoy that very much. All right, so let's go ahead and pop back into here and we'll kind of run through those skills. Hopefully all those cooldowns are back up. <clears throat> they is they is so again usually you want to open up with your a3 get some of your stuns and stuff off there pop your a2 then you get the move for your a1 you get some extra damage there it's a good time for everybody I'm sorry this is so super close and it might be hard to see um, <clears throat> Oh, and I made the mistake that I wanted to go ahead and show where, um, you know what, De demonstrating mistakes is a good way to learn it. Uh, you want to try and save this move for when this was on cooldown. The reason I just used it is the effect from this was still on there. So again, we want to pop A2 first and then use A1 and then we get the second A1 for free, which is just more damage and we enjoy more damage. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times since this is more of a defensive cooldown, and this form is a defensive form. I'll pop this as I go into here. Um, and that makes killing you kind of a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, <clears throat> so first move is a nice pretty little stun. Second move again. It's more CC. Wait till they pop up from that and then you can stun them again. You definitely want to space it to where you can see as they're coming out of the animation. You want to use your second ability. If your first ability and second ability have CC on them, wait until that full CC time has gone before using it. I don't know why I'm teaching Blade Masters how to stun me for longer and more effectively, but I guess I'm just a masochist. Holler at your assassin boy who spends a lot of time going, uh, 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 in PvP fights. I'm just trying to roll a ray from y'all and earn my freedom. That's all I want. All right, so let's wait until we get a group of baddies. All right, these guys look like they want to play. Let's go ahead and make friends and then hit our defensive cooldowns. So as you see them hit me, this move becomes immediately available. It does the same amount of damage no matter how long you let them beat on you. Um, so if you're just trying to trigger it real quick, it's a good thing to use. Um, if the boss is about to use a move um, and you don't have time to get out of the way, it's a good thing to use real fast to cheese some of that damage. Um, this is a really just fun class uh, all overall. Uh, you can also use your different abilities in between like your triggered ones when they come up. Um, so you don't have to immediately say if you use this and the second ability pops up. You can use something else and then still be able to use that. Uh, so don't feel pressured or locked into a combo like there's nothing that you can do once that other move pops up you have all the freedom in the world to do that. The only time you don't is when you're using this move because it locks you into uh, that bubble and everything and you can't do attacks there. But then you're still free to do all of your stuff. Um, when you pop back into this mode, nothing super special. Um, if you're getting beat on in PvP, definitely recommend you go ahead and uh, get your defensive cooldown back up. Uh, we'll try and do a video that's specific just to blade masters and pvp because we don't need this to be half an hour long uh let me know if you guys have any more questions let me go ahead and just turn auto on so you can see it flying through um let me know if you guys have any questions about anything with the blade master class uh i'm gonna go ahead and keep leveling up i'm trying to have um all the classes leveled up so far soul dancer is the only one that i haven't started my gunslinger is uh somewhere in the 30s i want to say um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. If you have any other content that you'd like to see uh, for Dragon Raja, let me know. I am always looking for better ways to help teach you guys and show you stuff in the game. Um, and also, I need to learn a bunch of stuff in the game myself. So all the questions I get are super helpful towards both of those ends. Because there's a lot of times y'all come in with a great question. I'm like, that is an amazing, amazing question. Give me like 20 minutes of research before I can come back and leave a comment to you. Because I don't know that answer, but we uh, we going to go check. So I appreciate y'all for that. Um, I love you faces. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button if this is the first time seeing your boy. Or if you've seen my face before and you ain't hit subscribe. How you doing that to me, boo? How? All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. It's been your boy, Patty. And we out of here. Deuces.